Welcome to the YouTube channel. Uh, I want to make these videos once in a while. I don't want to commit to like making YouTube vlogs because I know, you know, times can get hectic and I'm going to kind of just focus on what it is, which is the podcast. You know, I want to focus on that. So let's get started with the video. Uh, pretty much what I want to talk about really quickly is how well we did um, in 30 days. You know, so my first month of podcasting, I kind of want to share with you how I got to that point and pretty much, you know, our goals for the future. So first things first. Um, I was just talking to my friend and I was like, look, I want to do a podcast. I don't know why I've done everything else, right? I've had YouTube videos before. I've been all over social media. I've owned my own businesses. I've had my own, you know, brick and mortars. I've had my own online businesses. I've done a bunch of different things. Um, but one thing I've never done is podcasting. And I kept hearing like podcast, what is a podcast? And until I started listening to a couple podcasts, I started getting interested. Like, man, you know what? I like to talk, obviously. And I was like, you know what, let's just put it on. Let's just put it on. So I actually was like researching a little bit about it uh, with my brother about podcasting. Let's come up with this. We tried to come up with an idea. We were going to start one. We were going to start one. We were going to start one. We kept talking about it and nothing ever came from it. Um, and then one day I was like, you know what, let me just start my own. And if my brother and I want to start one, you know, then we'll do that too. Uh, but let me just do it. And so one night, um, which was in um, July, uh, July 2020, um, I grabbed my phone. And he had shared with me, my brother had shared with me an app called Anchor, you know, and honestly, you hear about it on my podcast is the first thing I talk about. Um, and they host your podcast for free. So I was like, you know what? Free sounds good. Let me research, you know, how well this will work for me because, you know, sometimes everything that's, you know, sometimes it's free. These, 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 uh, these uh, different apps are free and you're like, well, is it free for a reason, right? Do they own your stuff? And I was researching, like, do they own my things if I put it on there? But anyways, come to come, you know, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to go anchor. Um, one, because I didn't want to cost, you know, myself anything. I didn't want to go in there and be like, okay, I'm going to spend $100 to get started. I'm going to market, get a website. I'm going to get RSS feed and all these different things. I didn't want to do all that. So I started with anchor because it was free. And also because I just saw the app, it was so easy. I started just going through there and I was like, man, it's not that hard. I just record. So I literally went to our spare room, which is this one right here, our little office that we made. And I was like, I'm going to record a little trailer so I come up with the trailer and I'm like kind of whispering you know hey check out this because you know my family was sleeping it was like midnight but my mind was like working I couldn't go to sleep at that time I was like you know what I can't go to bed I'm gonna do this I have this idea I'm gonna roll with it and sometimes you know when you come up with ideas you got to go with it so I started you know recording different things and I started coming up with names like what can I be what can I mean I knew I wanted to be edu 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 because I'm a teacher I'm an educator I was like you know what I want it to be something about teaching because I think a lot of times we want to start a business about something we might like, but we're not in that field and that can hurt you. And I've done that before, you know? So I'm like, you know what? This is something that I do every day. You know, I know about teaching. I know what teachers go through. I know what teachers do because I'm married to a teacher. Uh, my wife's a teacher. Um, my father was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. My sister's a teacher. And like just everyone around me is just seems to be in education. So you know what? Let me talk about education. So then I was like, came up with the word cadence because... You know, I use the Nike Run Club app. Shout out to them because that's what, you know, pretty much got me running. But using that app, I'm running and I look at the app and I'm like, I kept seeing cadence. I'm like, what does cadence even mean? So it just came up. It was like educadence. It worked out. You know, it flew. And I was like, you know what? That's the name I'm going to go with. Uh, it just it just, it just, just flows together. So I go on Anchor. I download the app. I um, create my little logo that they have. And I said, you know what? I do have like some graphic design background. You know, I do know how to use Photoshop and Illustrate and do all these cool things. But I was like, I want to do it free. And I kind of want to prove to people that you can start a podcast for free and do a bunch of things organically without spending money. And in order to use Photoshop, I have to buy the program and all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? What I'm going to do is just try to do this and pretend that I don't know how to use Photoshop and pretend that I don't know how to do graphic design. So I use the artwork they gave me. You know, So on the app, like you created your name, you do a little bio about yourself, and then you decide like, um, you know, if you want to record by yourself or with somebody and then you add in artwork that they already have for you, they give you a little album artwork, you can click on one and then you can add your title, you can change the font. It's very basic. Um, it's not the, probably the best, you know, to market your podcast, but I was like, I'm going to go with that. Right. I want to, I want to start this podcast and do this for free, but not just because like, I don't want to spend money because you know, we do have enough money to start it. It was just like, I want to prove to other people that they can get started on their own. Honestly, I was thinking 
in terms of like any student out there or a college student or a high school student like that wants to get started. It's like there's so many free avenues. And I feel like we got to start with the freeway or at least the, the cheapest way possible and let that grow instead of like spending money and investing in crazy stuff and equipment and then like trying to make that money up by working. Then you're going to, it's not going to be fun anymore. So I started this out, right? Debt free, you know? So like, all right, I'm going to start this out. I started my trailer. I started shooting to a couple friends and they're like, okay, whatever. And then I hit up my good friend, right? Mr. Payne, shout out to him. And I was like, look, man, I need you to be on my podcast. And he's like, okay, whatever. And he's the one I kind of talked about. We were talking about, you know, that I wanted to start a podcast and he was kind of like, okay. So he came on the show and I didn't know how it worked. So I just started talking. We just started rambling. And like, honestly, the episode wasn't that good because I cut him off like a million times. And then on top of that, you know, uh, it was cutting out a little bit. And then I cut the episode just halfway out of nowhere. I had no like music going in. I had no outro. I didn't even do a reflection. I just kind of did that. And then boom. Right, episode two next week. And I just thought people were gonna listen to it. And I'm like, ah, it probably wasn't my best episode. And looking back at it, it probably isn't. But I'm gonna leave it up there because, and it's on there. It's episode one, the entrepreneur teacher. Um, I'm gonna leave it up there because uh, talking to other people, it's like, you know what? You just gotta be yourself. And I feel like if we just try to make everything perfect, we're never gonna get started. So if I would have waited for myself to to buy a microphone and create studio space and you know buy all kinds of crazy sound equipment, a mix board, soundboard, all kinds of stuff. By the time I do all that, I probably wouldn't even get started no more. I'll probably get bored of the project. So I was like, you know what? Now that I want to do this, how can I do this now? And I and I I watch a lot of people on YouTube, and a lot of them I like, always talk about just get started. And it was like Gary V, because I'm a big fan of Gary V. Shout out to Gary V. Um, he's like, just do it. Like, just put it up. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to edit, 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 make it perfect, but no one ever gets started. Just do it. So um, that's my reflection on this like just do it okay so if you're gonna start your business or you have an idea of starting a youtube channel or whatever you want to do who cares about what your friends think just do it like literally just do it you know what i mean like just start with whatever even if it's not great and i i see that a lot about on youtube channels like people tell you how to start a youtube channel it's like just post something like everybody wants to buy the perfect lighting and the perfect camera it's like just do it so that's what you should take from this is like that you could do it yourself and just go so that was my first tool right anchor app shout out to them which i still use them and they're very easy to use, very user friendly, and they actually upload all of your podcast episodes to different uh, feeds, you know, different platforms. And you're on, I'm actually on seven different platforms, including, you know, Google Podcasts, um, iTunes, which is also Apple Podcasts, same name, uh, which is people using it as Apple Podcasts now. Um, Spotify, because Spotify owns Anchor, so it goes to Spotify first. And so it takes a couple days on the first episode for them to start putting those feeds into different platforms. But after that, they automatically upload. So once I press publish, within minutes, it's already on Apple Podcasts, on Google. And I think most of my listeners are from Apple Podcasts because I think there's more, you know, maybe more iPhone users that are using it. But um, what I started doing with that is I started realizing that you can go into the app and you can see like demographically who's listening to it, like age, you know, gender. Um, you can see where they live you know, in the world. And I had like listeners in Brazil. I had listeners in, in Japan, Switzerland. I was like, what? You know, so I don't know like how that came up, but somebody searched it and listened to it, you know, and it shows you percentage wise of your listeners where they are and per county. Like even if you're like in California, it starts breaking it down by county, kind of city area of who's listening to your stuff. So it's kind of good, you know, because if you ever get sponsors, you can kind of tell them like, hey, you know, I have listeners here, 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 here. So the Anchor app does all that for you. They give you, uh, you know, analytics on like your episodes, how many listens per episode. They call them downloads as well. So how many downloads you get per episode, um, how many people listening to it in what city, you know, how old are they? So you can kind of see your demographic on that and you can kind of like target your stuff. You kind of see your target audience, you know, you kind of decide like, wow, my listeners are from age 18 to 35. So you're not going to talk about things that maybe won't pertain to them, you know? So that's pretty cool. I like the Anchor app for that. The next thing I did was like, Okay, I obviously created an Instagram for it, right? And so I opened up a public Instagram. I use the business account. It's the easiest one to use because it gives you an opportunity to promote your page and different things. But I, I, I told you, I came up with a strategy that I was going to do it organically, which means like I didn't want to spend a dollar. And I want to just use my friends and family and just kind of keep shooting it that way. So I wanted to build it like that. I didn't care if it took a whole year. So then I decided how many episodes was I going to do, right? How many episodes per week or this and that, because you got to be consistent, right? So I decided I'm going to do two episodes a week, which at the time was really easy because I was on summer break. And now I'm like, okay, well, you know, now I'm going to juggle that with my life. But I figured if I do two episodes a week for the entire year, then I'll have over 100 episodes. And then after 100 episodes, then I would sit down 
and actually like think about what I want to do next. You know, if, if it's something I want to keep going or something I don't want to do. It's kind of like, I kind of like um, compare that to going to the gym, right? Like you can go to the gym a couple times, like, oh, you know what? It didn't work out for me. But like if you go to the gym a hundred different times, you're going to see a difference, right? You're going to be, you know, sore. You're going to see some strength, you know, building. You're going to get some endurance, some stamina, right? And so you're going to be like, you know what? I'm getting in shape because I went a hundred times. And so what I want to do is do this a hundred times before I decide eh, podcasting is weak or I'm not going to make any money or it's not going to be fun. So I want to do a hundred times. And so stay tuned because right now, as of this part right here, this episode, I'm already on episode nine. Um, and you know, they're all available on all your podcast platforms. You can just look it up at, at educated. So my next step was like, how do I make cool posts? Right? So I started researching like how people make, you know, created content on Instagram and I, and I use Instagram because that's the one I used all the time anyways, personally. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to use Instagram a lot. Then I decided I'm going to make a Twitter because I started realizing that a lot of teachers and educators and people in education are on Twitter. And I didn't realize that, you know, a lot of book authors and people like that. So I'm like, maybe I could use Twitter to like promote it and get people to listen to it. So I created Twitter. Uh, I created a YouTube, which is where we're at right now, uh, which I do plan to start doing my podcast on YouTube. But I, I set a milestone for myself first. is like, until I get to a certain amount of listens, um, which is uh, at this point, it's going to be 2,000 downloads. Then I will start broadcasting the podcast on YouTube. So right before that, I just wanted to do audio and just get in your ear first. Um, second of all, the next app is amazing is Headliner. Check out Headliner because you can make your audiograms on there. And audiograms, I had to look up what that was. I didn't have no idea what that was. But audiograms are pretty much where you get the wavelength, right? And and you um, send like one minute videos of your podcast, your audio. And so when I have video of it, then it's going to be easier. I can just share little clips to people. But right now that we're just doing audio, the audiograms work really well because it has like little wavelengths and then you can put a background video to it or a photo and you can promote your podcast and just send it in text to your friends. And then they get like a minute little clip of your 30 long, 30 minutes or, or two hour long podcast, right? So I liked it for that reason. So use Headliner um, to create your audiograms and it's, and I'm honestly, I'm just doing the freeway. So Headliner has um, eight free downloads a month. And so I was like, well, that's perfect because I only do eight episodes a month. So I was like, I can't waste those. You know, when I download it, that's going to count as one. And I wanted to do everything without spending a couple pennies. You know what I mean? I, I know that I, I could afford it. I know I could do it. I just wanted to prove to people, I'm telling you, you could do this without spending a penny. Okay. The only thing you're going to spend is your time, which is obviously very valuable, but I didn't want to be like in debt already and be like, this business is already losing me money. You know what I mean? So anyways, then I, uh, I started, um, teachers pay teachers because I'm like, you know what? I am a teacher. I go on there to get resources. I know teachers do too. So I was going to give out free resources to teachers. Uh, I do teach Spanish. So I have like little lessons that I make. Once I make them well enough that I feel like people would want to use them, um, I put them on T TPT, you know, teacher pay teacher. So I'm using that. Uh, and obviously if you're, you know, a chef or you're a barbecue, you know, you, you do barbecue or, or you're a electrician or whatever it is and you're creating a podcast, you probably aren't going to use that one, but you can find some kind of forum or some kind of website that a lot of people in your little group, niche group go to, you know? So for instance, if you're like a, a photographer, you know, then you might, you know, know some photography websites or some photography forums that people go on and you can do that, you know, and you can kind of reach out there. And I'm not really advertising it there. I'm just giving resources out and see if someone gets it. And then they go, wow, this guy has a podcast too. And they might send them back to my podcast. See, everything has the goal of them coming to my podcast. That's like my main thing. Um, and so then I created a SoundCloud. I was like, you know what? I see there's podcasts on SoundCloud. So the thing with SoundCloud though, you got to pay for a certain amount of storage. But I realized that I could just make little one minute clips and put them on SoundCloud and see if someone clicks on it, if they want to hear more, boom, they'll come to my podcast, right? Or they'll come to my social media. So honestly, like the two biggest places where I want people to be at is Instagram and um, my podcast, right? So, and then the cool thing about the podcast is that they can go to any platform. So if someone using a Droid, they can get the Spotify app. Um, and then with the Spotify, you don't have to pay for the podcast. You know, you can click on them whenever you want. Not like the Spotify music one where you have to like wait for your song to come up. Um, and an Apple podcast is on anybody's iPhone. So it's pretty cool. Like on the anchor app, it'll tell you, um, which devices they're using. It says like web, which means someone's on the computer, um, other, and then it has droid and iPhone. So it like kind of tells you like, Hey, most of your listeners are on an iPhone. So that's why I always kind of pump up Apple podcast more just because like, I think 50% or more are on there. Um, for my podcast at least. And then you kind of know your friends, right? If they have a blue message, you know, cause they have an iPhone then you send them the Apple podcast link 
You know, you don't want to send the the Spotify one because they might not use it. And you don't want to spend the Apple Podcast. You don't want to send the Apple Podcast link to a Spotify user, you know, because they're going to be like, I don't have that. So you can go all around that by just sharing the Anchor app link. link. So like in the Anchor app, there's a link for your podcast. It's kind of like a landing page. You can send that to people. And as they click it, it will come up with all the different um, platforms that are in there. And then on top of that, they could also uh, listen to it on the Anchor app if they have it. So Anchor app also has podcasts on there too. Uh, but they're owned by Spotify, so you can see that too. Um, anyways, uh, to keep going, what else did I do? I also uh, ended up getting to 500 downloads in about 30 days. And I thought that was pretty big. I was like, man, 500 different listeners? Like, it, it doesn't come out to be like that because some people repeat. So I would probably average of like, let's just say I would estimate 60 listeners, different listeners listen to my podcast because the Anchor app told me that. And I was looking at it like different people kind of listen to it. It kind of tells you an average of listener per episode. So I kind of went like, yeah, you know what it's going to be about? It's about 50 something per episode listening to my podcast. So I was pretty excited, man. I got to, you know, 500 downloads in one month, you know, without spending a dollar. And I was literally recording on my iPhone. Like that's all I was doing just on my iPhone. And I would, I would call um, my friends through the app and then they would link up. And then I started seeing some issues with that. And it, it does work out pretty well if both of you have a good internet connection. Uh, but like a lot of busy people like you know, that have kids at home, it's hard to get like 30 minutes of silence, you know? And so I started realizing that maybe that wasn't going to work. You know, the app wasn't going to work. So I ended up, you know, you could use Zoom. You know, I know Zoom has like a limit on what you use for free, but I figured that most of my podcast episodes would be 30 minutes or less. And I'll tell you why I came up with that in a second. But so you could use Zoom or you could use WebEx or any of these um, Skype, any of these uh apps that let you talk to someone on video, you could record that session and then you could actually download the audio file separately. So if you don't want to do a video podcast, like I was doing first, just doing the audio podcast, you just download the audio, cut it up in the Anchor app and then boom. And the cool thing with Anchor app is they give you like background music that you can add to your own stuff. Then I started, you know, using that a couple of times. So all my first like eight episodes sound really different, right? Because I'm using like different local artists that I know, you know, big shout outs to uh, Chewy Granados you know, a uh, local musician here in SAC. Big shout out to Chuy Granados. And um, and definitely big shout out to Mane. You know, um, Mane Resendez, who uh, is also on Instagram. I'll put his stuff down here as well. Who also helped me out with some free beats that he created. So I was like, you know what? I, I want to use these local artists to help me out with my music. So um, I finally, on episode nine, have like my official intro. You know, and I think it's pretty cool. I'm actually, you know, you probably heard it at the beginning of this video. And I'm going to put it at the end. Um, and... I think it's amazing that I can get his local artist to like, we went to his like garage and we set this whole thing up and Mane just hooked it up with that, you know? So big shout out to, to Mane Resendez, uh, who I know for a long, long time, um, hooked me up with some beats and some audio, some vocals, and he made an intro for me, which I want to use, you know, for a long time. Um, also, um, how do you get your podcast out? So I started sending it to my friends and I just figured I'm going to send it to my friends like two or three times. So anyone on my phone that I still currently talk to, not just random people that I still currently talk to, I'm just going to shoot it to them, even family members, boom, 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 right? And like, I'll kind of see what the response is. If they like hit me back with like, cool, I'm going to listen to it. Then I'm like, all right, then I won't bother, you know, I'm not bothering them. I'll send it back. But then if I get like a nothing, right? You get like no response after like two episodes that you sent them and you kind of get like nothing at all. Then you're like, you know, bro, I'm not going to bother them anymore. And I kind of wanted to be, I didn't want to be like that you know, that salesman in my house that was like selling things and just bothering you. So I was like, you know what? If you didn't respond to that the first couple of times, it's okay. You don't have to listen to it. I appreciate it anyways. I'll take a couple people that are down. So that's how I started, man. Family, friends, and coworkers. And I didn't want to announce it to anybody really. It was just kind of like, bah, bah, bah. You know, and I was using my personal Instagram to kind of share some stuff, but I never really made it seem like, hey, it's my podcast. I just kind of say, hey, listen to this. You know, let's see if someone goes on it. And a couple people did go on it. So big shout outs to you. I really appreciate everybody who's been going on my podcast and listening to it and especially your feedback, you know, like especially here, you want to comment here, it'd be great. But your feedback on the podcast is cool because other people can see like, wow, someone actually listens to this, you know, because you can't really tell if anyone's listening to it. So it's not like YouTube where you see like a million views. You're like, okay, someone else is watching this, you know? So I think it's big if you could do a review, especially on Instagram, if you're shouting me out, you're on Twitter, retweeting my stuff. I really appreciate everybody who's supporting me, all my friends, my family, right? who's always like down for these projects. I know I bugged them with everything, you know, I've created my own clothing line. I mean, I've had my own soccer store. I've had all kinds of things and I've always had family and friends supporting me. So, you know, big shout outs to you. 
Uh, my wife, who's been here every single day of all these business ideas that I come up with. And, uh, you know, this one is easy, right? It's a no-brainer. I like to talk, and I'm not spending any money right now. Now, revenue. Next thing is going to come up is revenue. Um, it's hard. You know, you're not going to make a lot of money. You know, I'm not making any money, period. Um, I think it's going to be easier. I think my strategy is going to be to find a local sponsor, someone in my area that listen, you know, that maybe knows that I have a certain amount of listens per uh, episode and they want to be part of that brand. Then I'm going to take them on and, you know, and then we'll talk about some kind of money going there, some revenue. Other than that, though, like this is just going to be a word of mouth kind of thing. And honestly, at this point, I don't really... I thank God I don't need this money because, you know, I have my career. My wife has a career. We don't need, like, the podcast to do well, you know. We don't need it to do, like, super well. We just want it to grow, you know, and I just want it to grow as much as I can. You know, and my goal is to get to 10,000 downloads, you know, and at 10,000 downloads, we'll see where we're at, you know. And right now, uh, as we're speaking, you know, like I said, I'm past 500 downloads in one month. And right now, I'm about 700 downloads in about a month in like four or five days. So I think if it just keeps growing and I keep posting out stuff, it's going to go. So if you're doing your podcast, make sure you pick, okay, I'm going to do it every Friday. It needs to be on every Friday. You know what I mean? And I did pick twice a week and I think that's probably a little too much, but we'll see how it goes, you know? Next thing, getting guests on your show. Getting guests on your show is not that hard like you think it'd be. Like I did reach out to some people and they just totally ignored me, you know, and that's okay. You know, like, hey, I was in a, uh, you know, my name is Alex, but 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 I want to do this, and I really think you should be on my podcast because, and then you get no response. You're like, well, I know you read it because it says seen on Instagram, but it's okay, right? Like, maybe it'll come back later. I'll hit them up later. Like, not everybody wants to talk. Not everybody wants to be on the podcast. I understand that, but I would say about seventy-five to eighty percent of the people I ask are down right away. Like, when can we do this? You know, because who doesn't like to talk about themselves? I'm literally just talking about you. Like, tell me your story. You know, like, what is it that you do? So, so once you get like your guests on there, like your friends, like I just started with some friends. I'm like, who in my friends, who of my friends like are doing what I do, right? And I can get them on there. So once I got them on there, you know what I mean? Then, then all the next thing you know, like you keep going with that. And like, so I think the approach is to reach out to like maybe five to 10 friends that you have that are interested in what you do. And obviously you might not have that many that are interested in what you do. Like if you like soccer or you like football, fantasy football, whatever it may be. So like try to reach out to like two or three that are down that want to do multiple episodes and you keep going. And you got to kind of decide like, do you want your podcast to be like just you or do you want it guest driven? I, I kind of wanted it to be guest driven. I didn't want it to just be a monologue of me talking. I felt like that'd be like, I'm not, I don't know. I just, I like to talk, but I want to talk to someone. You know what I mean? So when I talk to my guests, I kind of tell them, look, we're going to have a very candid conversation. Here's a couple of talking pieces, you know, talking points that we're going to go over. Boom. And let's get going. You know what I mean? So then I started thinking like, okay, I need to get this podcast to grow more. So if I just reach out to my friends that aren't on social media, it's not going to grow as much as I wanted it to grow. So what I did was I found some people that I know on social media that are my friends or, or I know them well enough that I can ask them to be on the podcast because I know if they retweet or repost on their Instagram or Twitter or their, fa or their social media, if they repost their stuff, then, you know... I'm going to get, you know, some followers, you know? So all I needed was like, I was like, man, if I could just get each guest to bring me like two or three new people, which could be like their friends or family or their, you know, acquaintances, that's all I need. You know what I mean? We'll keep growing this slowly. And so my strategy to that, to growing the podcast was like making those audiograms that I talked about in Headliner. And if you go to their app, they'll like explain the whole thing and like sending those out to friends and then people that actually listen to it, I send it out to them as well. But the biggest thing is telling your guests to promote it for you. So like I send them like um, posts that I made about them. So I like to make one or two posts, maybe three of each guest that I have on the show and let them just keep reposting it on their Instagram and their social media, their Twitter, their Facebook, everything they have. And then send them the audiogram they can share out as well to their family and friends, you know? So, you know, you're hoping that like 10 to 15% of the people that they share it out to will come back to your show and maybe they click on it forever, you know? And the biggest thing is like on your podcast is like, Telling them to like like your video, you know what I mean? Like, hey, like my videos on 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 Instagram, like my videos on whatever, you know, retweet my Twitter, you know. So kind of always tagging and and shouting out all your Instagram tags and, and all that stuff, shouting out all your social media tags and all that cool stuff, you know. Make sure you're doing that, um, and you should grow, you know, pretty decently. You know, I feel like I don't know what like the metrics are, and I try to look it up, and there's really no way of knowing that. But for me to have zero followers, like no one knew what Educadence was. And then having 500 downloads in 30 days, 
I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? So anyways, looking for the future, looking forward to the future. I want to, you know, get to 10,000 downloads. And like I said, once I get to 2,000 downloads, then I will be broadcasting the podcast. We're trying to get a little more formal with it. Um, the next thing I want to talk about was podcast format. You know, like how do I broadcast my, like how do I set up my podcast, right? And so I decided like, you know what I'm going to do? At first I just started talking to like my guest and that was it, 30 minutes, shut it down. But then I was like, you know what? I think I should always start with one or two minutes of like, here's what I'm going to talk about today. Thank you for listening. Blah, 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 right? And then you plug in the show. And then at the end, um, throw in like, you know, a little reflection. Like, hey, so based on what you listen to, make sure you're, you follow him on Instagram or follow her on this, you know, check out her art studio, check out his photography website, whatever it may be, and kind of do a little reflection. Like, hey, thanks for listening. I'm going to close the show now. Here's my last little thing. Follow me on social media, right? Adios. You know, so I kind of feel like that's kind of like the strategy that I kind of uh, took on it. Um, and like I said, uh, we'll see what we get with that. Uh, another big tool that I used that was huge was Canva. And I already knew about this uh, website before, but I went on there and I was like, man, I have Instagram post, Instagram story. So you create all your stuff on there, save it. You know, you can do it on your phone, but I did it on my laptop instead. Send it to your phone, boom, po you know, post it. And I just feel like the cleaner the posts are and the more like professional that they are, people will actually start respecting it. You know what I mean? I'm, I have a lot of people that I follow that kind of like are like my YouTube mentors, which is like Gary V, who's the man, Chris Doe from the future, right? Uh, you know, from future, like he is the best, right? At this like, di di you know, graphic design world. I love it. So everything he posts, I'm like, man, he's cool. So I kind of went off what he did, you know, so Chris Doe, Gary V, and, uh, you know, find yourself somebody you want to kind of follow and, and kind of like imitate a little bit and just kind of take their strategies and go with whatever you're doing. So anyways, good luck podcasting. Make sure you listen to the show and uh, let me know you listen to it, right? I, didn't, I don't know if you listen to it or not.